In this lesson, we're going to be talking about the coordinate plane. Specifically, we're going to talk about symmetry on the coordinate plane and the distance between points on the coordinate plane. So we've talked before about the coordinate plane, so let's go ahead and get to it. We're going to graph these four points, so go ahead and pause your video and graph. Okay, let's make sure we have our points in the correct place. So negative 3, 4 should be a point that is in quadrant number 2. 3, negative 4 should be in quadrant 4. 3, 4 should be in quadrant 1. And negative 3, negative 4 should be in quadrant 3. Just to make things a little easier on us, I'm going to go ahead and label them A, B, C, and D. So if I was going ahead and looking at a relationship between these two points, so if I went ahead and I was looking at the relationship between these two points, B and C, I see that C is just as far away from the x-axis as B is. So if I was looking at folding this paper, if I could fold my computer, of course, I could make a fold right here on the x-axis and B would land exactly on top of C. What that means is that these two points have what we call vertical symmetry. So we would say that vertical symmetry is the relationship between these two points. So it's when two points that are aligned vertically or above or below from each other and they have to be equally distant from the x-axis. So why are these equally distant? Well, if I counted the boxes vertically to get from C to the x-axis, one, two, three, four, and I counted the boxes from B to the x-axis vertically, so like the stacks, how high the stacks are, I get four. So they're both a distance of four from the x-axis. So now let's look at the points B and A. Well, now let's look at the points B and A. So if I went ahead and I looked at B and A, I see that they line up this way, which is horizontal. And I know that if I went ahead and counted the distance from B to the y-axis, I would get three. And from A, to the y-axis, I get three as well. So that means they have what we call horizontal symmetry. So to be horizontally symmetric, two points have to be aligned horizontally, so that's left right from each other, and they have to be equally distanced from the y-axis because we can connect them with a horizontal line. The last type of symmetry we're going to discuss is origin symmetry. So it has something to do with the origin. How you can know the two points are symmetric with respect to the origin is that there's a line that connects the two points and it has to pass through the origin. So these two points have what we call origin symmetry. So origin symmetry means that we have two points that are aligned such that that's a fancy way of saying it. A line drawn between them would pass through the origin. So now let's look at some numerical relationships between points when they are vertically, horizontally, or symmetric, or symmetric with a relationship to the origin. So when we were looking at the points that had vertical symmetry, remember they were equally distant from the x-axis. So the relationship of the x-coordinates was different than the relationship of the y-coordinates. So the relationship of the x-coordinates is that the x-coordinates have to be equal, but the y-coordinates had to be opposites, one positive and one negative. And the physical relationship is that they were one above the other.
When they have horizontal symmetry, that means they're equally distanced from the y-axis. So that means the x-coordinates have to be opposite, and the y-coordinates have to be equal. Okay, and their physical relationship is that they are left and right from each other. So they are aligned horizontally. The ones that had origin symmetry had opposite x's and opposite y's. And their physical relationship is that they are diagonal from each other. So now go ahead and graph those four points on the coordinate plane. So we should have 7, negative 2, negative 5, negative 2, 5, 2, and negative 7, negative 2. So when we're going ahead and we're measuring distance, you have to remember measures of distance are always positive values. So it doesn't matter if you're measuring it left to right, down to up, down, up to down, it doesn't matter. It's always going to give you a positive value. Each square in a coordinate plane has a measure of one unit or a measure equal to the interval used. So for example, if we had numbered this 2, 4, 6, 8, then each box would represent 2. So now let's go ahead and find some distances. So if I was going to measure the distance from 7, negative 2, which is right here, to negative 7, negative 2, which is right here, I always want to go along a horizontal path or a vertical path. In this case, I'm going to go horizontally. And I'm just going to count boxes. So it's taken me 7 boxes to get to the origin when I go from left to right. And then it's going to take me 7 more to get to the set positive 7. So that means the distance is 14. So if I wanted to look at the distance between negative 5, 2 and 5, 2, and I was going to measure it, okay, how far is it going to take me to get from the negative 5 to the y-axis? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 plus 5 makes 10. So if I wanted to measure the distance between the 7, negative 2 and 5, 2, I don't have a horizontal line or a vertical line. So in this case, I cannot measure the distance at this point in my mathematics career. I can't actually measure it, but we need a little bit of extra stuff. But we could talk about the vertical distance between them. So the vertical distance between them is how high would I have to climb to get to that point? One, two, three, four. Because I had to go two to get to the x-axis and two to get to positive two. So the vertical distance is equal to four. The horizontal distance, I could go ahead and look at this way. And so I see that the horizontally, it's 2. So we can measure horizontal distance and vertical distance between points that aren't aligned vertically or horizontally. So if I had these two points here and I wanted to know what the distance was, what would it be? It would be 1, 2, 3, 4. 